looks like that's been machined for a slide valve engine uh, for a 20 ton um, narrow gauge Shea uh, scale model. Uh, this is the steam chest. Uh, the ports are three quarters long. The steam ports are on the end and they're 5 30 seconds wide. The exhaust port's 5 16 wide. You can see that the center port is exhaust. If you turn it around, that's the drilled hole where the exhaust manifold will attach to. Uh, the steam ports are the smaller ports on the ends. And if you look here, you can see the holes that have been drilled through at a, a 22 degree angle that go into the bottom of that port. Uh, when I started out with the cylinder, I had to set it up so it was, uh, I had it lengthwise so that the the uh, uh, faces of the cylinder were on the fixed and, and sliding jaw on the uh, bridge port mill. And I had to square it up so the steam chest part of the casting was square to the vise. I took a clean up cut here, a clean up cut on the top because there wasn't a lot of extra material to remove. Um, anyway, uh, bored the cylinder and uh, <coughs> uh, faced the, uh, the ends off of the cylinder uh, to length. It's 3.25 inches long. The ports you see on uh, these two ports are for the cylinder drain cocks. They're quarter 40 model taper pipe and they have a small hill hole drilled through into the cylinder to let the steam out. The, the cylinder caps attach with 832 screws and those uh, holes are all tapped there. Uh, the steam chest attaches to the steam chest face of the cylinder with 632 screws. Um, the way I bored this was I was able to use the mill circle function on the bridge port in a long two inch carbide end mill and stepped over uh, tw in 25,000 increments till I cleaned it up to two inches. And then I had to slide down and get the, the second half to get the whole three point uh, two five length. So you have to have the head square, otherwise you get rubbing on the, the shank of the end mill when it's uh, protruding all the way through the cylinder. And then I <clears throat> use a cylinder hone to uh, clean up the bore a bit, but, uh, uh, and then I, I slide the, the face that uh, the, the valve will slide on this face that you're looking at here. And I uh, rub that on a little granite uh, block with a piece of uh, emery cloth laying on it just to clean up the surfaces to, uh, so there's no blow by on the, when I use the valve. So that just gives you an idea of what the cylinder machining looks like. Uh, that, uh, that's it.